buttonhole time. So you'll see I am working on a scrap of fabric because you should always do a test round on your buttonhole. Buttonholes are permanent. They're a pain in the patookus to rip out. So you want to make sure you know what you're doing first. You might do three or four or five or six or however many samples it takes for you to feel confident on your buttonholes. Now, every machine is different and we don't know what machines you guys are going to be working on. So I'm going to demo this machine's buttonhole. It's got a buttonhole foot. You don't need to have a buttonhole foot. You can do it with a regular foot. This just makes it a little bit easier. Um, I turn my settings to the buttonhole setting on my dial here, and then I follow steps one, two, three, and four. Um, every buttonhole is different, so your machine might have an automatic buttonhole where you just press a button and it makes beautiful buttonholes, or it might have a six-step buttonhole, but you will find out when you get to it, and we'll be happy to help you through whatever we need to do. If you're sewing by hand, we have a video uploaded on how to make a hand-bound buttonhole, which are really, really, really beautiful. So step one, going forward. Step two, it's a pretty tight little zigzag stitch. Step two, I'm gonna do a bar tack back and forth. I'm not moving at all, I'm just going back and forth, creating that nice little bar tack. Step three, I'm gonna go backwards. Zigzag until I get to the start of step one and then I turn my wheel back to four and there's my buttonhole. And I'm going to clip my threads. And there you go. It's a buttonhole.